What is going on you guys? My name is Hugh and today we are going to be working on my mother's car again. I know you're probably thinking, oh, okay, we were just working on this car like a couple weeks ago, I think, on the AC stuff. However, there seems to be more issues with the car that needs to be changed out. And keep in mind, this is the 47V8 uh, flex fuel, whatever you call it. Man, I wish it was the Hemi because the Hemi is just freaking nasty. But, you know, it'll flex fuel cool too. It's the same freaking motor. I think what's going on is this bastard right here. Is that damn fan clutch. And I've heard that the fan clutches on these old V8s, they start to go after a while. So I can barely hit this with my finger. Watch this. I'm barely hitting that. It's tap, 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 tap. So I'm wondering if the spring is pretty, pretty much shot in this old V8 here. I'm gonna go ahead and start the car and I want you guys to see if you can hear, I guess it sounds like rocks. Like the description of it is rocks and a plastic cup. I guess that's like the only description I can give for that. So, while I'm waiting for the car to cool down, I did discover a little something something in here. So, if I can get you guys in here, hold on. Alright, so I'm going to switch over to my phone since my camera needs to freaking lose some weight here. So, see that guy right there? Yep. Definitely the water pump. Piece of poopy. It is not supposed to be doing that. Ma'am, I think I found the problem with your car. I think your water pump is about ready to go. I mean, I don't think it's supposed to vibrate like that. All I did was take a pair of, where to go? Some vast grips, biggest ones I could find, clipped it onto this little pulley here. Whoop, hold on. Snapper, oops, yeah, snapperoni. So then that uh, can't go nowhere. Then I took the biggest freaking pair of monkey wrenches. I mean, that's what I call it. I call it a monkey wrench. Put it right on the wheel. Almost dropped it. Hold on. And that's that. That's how you get that bitch off. Since there's no one who does the proper video of how to do all this stuff, hopefully this is demonstrate. Would you stop moving around, you big bastard? So, now that we got that off, I believe I'm going to put you guys down here. You count how many bolts there are. Do you see the bolts? I can't see how many there are, but there should be some in there. So if it sounds like you have rocks in your car, that's your problem. The water pump is not good. Let's get that big jazz here. the dang dinger I can't, I, can't, I can't say it keep ringing the dang dinner bell that's what I meant to say I couldn't say it keep ringing the dang dinger I, just, the I, I can't stop saying it keep ringing the dang dinger man who keeps ringing the dang dang dinger bell ding 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 don't mind me neighbors I'm just rednecking over here now we really gotta ring the dang dinger Ding, ding, dinger.
Tits and ass. 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 Looks like uh, our hurricane's about to hit here pretty soon, so I got it done just in time for hurricane season. Off camera, when I started this car up, oh my god! It was like... <laughs> the freaking car was like, I'm awake! I'm alive! <laughs> I got this car done before hurricane season. I forgot what the name of this hurricane was, but it's about to hit in the time of this filming. Every part I add or fix to this car, strengthens it up. I eventually got to think the alternator is going to go pretty soon. So the alternator and the battery maybe the next thing needs to change. Um, probably a new air filter. But it's just little things. I mean, it's a one order car. My mother's the only one who had this car since 2008, fresh off the lot. Now that's some crazy stuff, isn't it? But for a 4.7 V8, it's actually not a bad car. Like if I were to put an exhaust on it, it's, it would sound really good. I might do that, but it's up to her if I want to put an exhaust system on this car. But please be safe out there, guys. This hurricane is no joke. Just take the right precautions. Get plenty of food. Make sure you got enough power and backup and all that sort of stuff. If you guys enjoyed this video, hopefully you learned something out of it. Hopefully I can influence more people about the 4.7 because I've seen a lot of people do the Hemi, so hopefully this was educational. If you guys enjoyed this, be sure to give it a fat, whoa, I'm going to set the camera, thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, hashtag made it to the storm, if you're a Florida guy. You guys enjoy the rest of your week, be safe, be cautious, and I'll see you goons later.